Hi, welcome to this hands-on lab on Azure Data Factory. Our two main goals in this lab are to show you how to utilize Azure Data Factory to run your SSIS packages in the cloud, and how to build Azure Data Factory pipelines to load a cloud data warehouse. My name is Joshua Owen. I'm here to give you an overview of what we're accomplishing in this lab, as well as anything you'll need to have before we start. First, let's discuss who this lab is intended for. Typically, a data engineer is going to be in charge of designing and implementing the type of data orchestration workflows that Azure Data Factory can create. Data engineers design the ingestion, transformation, and processing of a wide variety of data sources for use in data warehouses, machine learning applications, and dashboarding and visualizations. This role is also sometimes referred to as an ETL engineer or ETL developer, and traditionally use tools such as SQL Server integration services to facilitate these workflows. Azure Data Factory can play a key role in integrating data workflows for both big data-oriented workflows, landing into something like an Azure Data Lake, as well as data warehouse workflows, landing in an Azure SQL Data Warehouse. You'll see that in this lab, we touch on how flexible Azure Data Factory is for handling items you would typically see in big data workflows, such as working with text files, spinning up HD Insight clusters, and working with Azure Blob Storage. We'll also be using Azure SQL database sources and taking output from our big data tasks and aligning them in an Azure SQL data warehouse. So let's talk about how we're going to use Azure Data Factory in this lab. One of our first goals is to show you you can leverage Azure Data Factory to run your existing SSIS packages in the cloud to be able to leverage the scaling capabilities of the Azure SSIS integration runtime. This is a common scenario, typically called a lift and shift to the cloud, and hopefully you'll see how quickly this can be done. Our second goal is to show you how to build a data warehouse load using the control flows and activities in Azure Data Factory. We'll be using an Azure SQL database, copying data from an Amazon S3 account, grabbing data from a REST API source, as well as utilizing an on-demand HD Insight cluster to run some Hive queries. These are just a small sample of the available activities and data sources in Azure Data Factory, but should give you a good understanding of how you can create a cloud-first approach to loading a data warehouse. Finally, since this is a hands-on lab, let's discuss what you'll need to complete the activities in each of our lab modules. First, we'll need a web browser such as Edge or Chrome to access the Azure portal in our Data Factory graphical user interface. We'll also need to download files from the lab from GitHub, and a short link is above. These include our deployment resources as well as the lab module walkthroughs. You'll need an Azure subscription with rights to use and deploy Azure services. We'll be making use of Azure PowerShell to deploy the servers and resources that this lab needs. And as we are working with Azure SQL databases in an Azure data warehouse, we'll be using SQL Server Management Studio to connect to our databases and integration catalog. Finally, several of our activities land output in Azure Blob Storage and Microsoft Azure Storage Explorer is a lightweight tool that we can use to quickly interact with our storage containers. In Module 1, we will be going into more detail on how to get everything set up in Azure for us to work through the lab. I'll see you over in Module 1. Thanks.